Hello Divine Souls, I welcome all of you who have tuned into this channel and those who are on their journey of reuniting with their Divine Counterpart, Twin Flames, Soulmates. This is your friend, your guide and your Divine Help Vijay to guide you on this journey and more specifically year out to resolve the issues you face in this journey and couldn't find the answers or the support anywhere else. I am a spiritual healer, a psychic, a tarot card reader, life coach and a mentor for your Twin Flame journey. If you have arrived at my channel and listening to this audio message, you were divinely guided to receive the guidance and the support you were seeking in this journey so that you take divinely guided steps to meet your eternal Twin Flame. So today, I will be talking on a very important topic. It is a very, very important topic and it is called how to recognize your soul purpose. Now, considering the curiosity level of the audience, I could have chosen the topics such as divine masculine characteristics, their energy, divine feminine characteristics and their energy, how to recognize that your twin flame how to recognize that you are into a twin flame journey and such that but but above all whether you are in a twin flame journey or a soulmate journey or not knowing your life's soul purpose knowing, knowing your life's purpose is one of the very important task that you need to accomplish as an individual once you are born on this earth. Every individual who is born on this earth has been assigned a significant role to contribute to the humanity and to the mother earth at large. Now it is your responsibility and your life's biggest exploration to find out what is your exact life's sole purpose. I'll definitely be talking about the other aspects of Twin Flame journey but the point of putting it up quite early after the I have launched the channel a few days back was that to let the individuals think on knowing their soul purpose, let the individuals get awakened to their soul purpose and start doing it. So that the earlier you start with the soul purpose, the more aligned you are with the universe, the more contribution that you can do it for the humanity, for people and to help the other souls at large. So you are born on this earth with a soul purpose, right? And you get to identify your soul purpose rather quite early in your childhood. How is that like you are naturally drawn towards a soul purpose? You don't have to fight for it, look it for it here and there or go on a hunch for it. Right, There is an inner craving to constantly involve yourself in doing something which doesn't make you feel bored. Rather, there is something which you usually take up when you get bored from your mundane daily routine activities. When you try to do something to escape away from your sedentary lifestyle is where your sole purpose lies. Now, at this point of time, we might think that, yes, I take up watching TV. You know, I take up watching binge web series. I take up drinking alcohol. I take up gossiping, talking to people. I take up even watching porn when I get bored. But is that where you should be looking for your sole purpose? Right? Definitely not listening to music, watching TV, playing sports, photography, videography, right? 
these all can only be your hobbies and your recreational activities but not your sole purpose your sole purpose by the name itself is that thing or activity which feeds your soul when you do your sole purpose you do justice to your soul you fulfill the ultimate purpose of why you were given this life you have to be aligned with your inner self to identify your soul purpose first and the foremost thing until unless you are in closeness to yourself until and unless you are listening to your inner voice you do a lot of introspection it will be very hard for you to identify your soul purpose like after i launched this channel i had a few interaction with some of the uh, curious enthusiastic divine souls where one of the people uh, person mentioned that he lives a life of a nomad and you know, he plays music he is a dj and i make people happy so is that a soul purpose so i told him i'll be explaining the same in detail in my next video you better have a watch to that video right so meaning that even if you do something where uh, you feel happy you know you're following any of your hobbies but everything cannot be taken into account when it comes to the definition of a sole purpose right you have to listen to your inner being your inner self to identify what is exactly your soul purpose you have to listen to what your inner self speaks to you what it wants you to do your soul purpose is your inner passion as to what you wanted to do always as a member of the human citizens utilizing those gifts that you are provided to serve a bigger purpose for humanity so you have to think what is the craving you know that pushes you towards your soul purpose your soul purpose will take out the creative uh, talents hidden somewhere underneath which comes at the surface and becomes more and more prominent and dominant the more you involve yourself doing it you can never get bored doing your soul purpose it brings in a perfect harmony to your mind body and soul from there you will live uh, just to earn money you will not live sorry you will not live just to earn money rather happiness and money will eventually follow you right because now you are alive from within as you are not bargaining your lifetime on earth just for sake of some money okay so the more gracefully you take up your soul purpose the more substantial substantially you will be contributing to the people at large right for me i have always found solace in writing my own thoughts poems and blogs on different topics but had always kept it as a secondary i gave more priority to my uh, mundane job It's a boring job, right? Where I wasn't feeling at all happy with what I was doing. I was not. I was not doing justice to my own soul, doing the job that I was doing it. But I found very peace when I used to write down my own thoughts and my own, you know, poems and writings. So it was only when I firmly decided to prioritize writing for the masses, writing for the audience at large. which would serve as a guide and a tool book that i could connect to my inner bliss which was my own soul waiting since long so in this video i bring to you the 10 major important clues on how you identify your life's soul purpose it can be even more than that but these were the 10 uh glaring important clues which i could think of and which will help you easily identify your soul purpose first 
it will be something which you are very good at right but you may not have discovered it yet suppose you are very good at writing you spend time writing something or the other creating your own articles your poems something of that sort but you underestimate yourself you haven't explored your writing abilities to its fullest right so it is something your sole purpose is something where universe has already empowered you with uh, the ability to execute it at a good level right secondly it is something you have been procrastinating a lot so there had been a inner calling within you but you have been postponing it for a long long time for some reason or the other maybe many years now and there you feel a certain heaviness in your heart chakra which will be calmed down only and when you execute your soul purpose right thirdly a subtle suggestion there will be someone with in your circle within your friends family members somebody your boss your colleague which will someone will come and you know suggest you subtly you know just do that thing it is good for you and that suggestion goes very deep into your heart and mind the time someone suggest you to do your soul purpose right for uh, like to as an example you can tell that if your soul purpose is singing for itself then you haven't you know been a professional singer or you haven't performed at a larger stage but someone or the other comes and tells you that why don't you take it seriously why don't you give it singing a thought right and that sentence hits you very deep in your heart right that is one of the identification to know your soul purpose fourth it's non monetary soul purpose can never be focused on earning money or for living or for your livelihood money and uh, the monetary benefits should always be secondary from your soul purpose right so someone singing plainly for earning money is not doing his soul purpose but someone singing with an intention to heal people to you know exe- execute the creativity of how they uh, you know create the music or how to you know uh, bring in peace into the life of people through their music through their art can be called an soul purpose fifth it feeds your soul as i had already told you might be having a lot of hobbies such as music photography pets sports traveling etc that just makes you happy from the superficial level but once you execute your soul purpose it acts as a feeder to your soul and you feel very much elevated and lighter after doing your soul purpose sixth you naturally feel gravitated towards your soul purpose without any push or pull and so your soul purpose are those hidden uh dreams right photocopied before your birth into your dna so that naturally whenever you come across those things which is a part of your soul purpose you naturally feel gravitated towards it seventh you don't get tired soul purpose will be one and only thing when you execute it it won't make you tired in fact whenever you carry out your life's soul purpose you'll feel energized for many days and weeks right eighth the inner bliss no matter how much money you have earned how many countries you have traveled how many kind of uh, you know foods you have tried out people you have met or other cravings you have fulfilled in your lifetime but it will only be your soul purpose that will let you experience the inner happiness and the bliss that you were looking for since birth 
so eighth is the inner bliss the deep satisfaction the deep happiness ninth you will be helping a larger group of people there will be a specific group of people who is looking up for the kind of help that you will be providing through your sole purpose that you intend to provide through your sole purpose and possibly only few of them like yours will be willing to do the similar kind of job or the similar kind of help so by doing this you are actually you know providing a help to those uh, group of people who are looking up for help and who don't find that sort of a help anywhere else so it will be an exclusive kind of a thing 10th you will be aligned to the universe rather when you do your soul purpose at that moment you are already aligned to the universe you feel as if you are in partnership with the universe so by doing this you are directly participating in the universe and mother earth's way of managing the things for the collective you are collaborating and partnering with the universe for a bigger purpose so the kind of confidence the boost up you get after start doing your after you have started doing your soul purpose will provide you with the immense happiness confidence and the satisfaction of being you know, born as a human being on this earth for twin flames if you discuss the sole purpose usually people take up after the soul merging happens with your twin soul so soul merging concept will discuss it uh, in my next video and for the twin souls the best part is whether you are able to identify or not your soul purpose there will be constant repeated number of hints clues and uh, push given by the universe consists at a consistent level so that you start doing your soul purpose it might be like again a subtle suggestion by someone you know the same thing keeps on coming again and again in your mind you won't find the peace and calmness you know within from within until you have executed your soul purpose there will be sort of a heaviness in your heart space in your heart center and most importantly things see twin flames goes through a lot of ups and downs and a haywire kind of a situation during their journey entire journey right so there will be a lot of things which comes up as an obstacle or will be pending for you so things won't work out for you until and unless you start doing your soul purpose so for twin flames doing your soul purpose is a must before you get to reunite with your twin soul so whether your twin soul is participating with you or not doesn't matter the twin soul who gets awakened first and is aware of the journey who has been gifted with the gifts to carry out the soul purpose has to start off with execution of the soul purpose and the other twin soul will eventually come and join you in the process so your soul purpose can be something where you will be serving the humanity in a very very positive way right and uh, as it goes uh, you know uh, most of the people who get rich are not those who spend hours and hours doing their monotonous job right but they are those sort of people who follow their true passion and uh, soul purpose is your uh, that level of passion which originates directly from your soul so once you start executing your soul purpose it's definite that money 
will start flowing towards you and the soul purpose will give you a much inner and a deeper level of satisfaction so that was all what uh, i had to you know discuss on the soul purpose thanks for listening me out please uh, like share and subscribe the channel if you have not done yet may the angels guide you and provide you with their divine protection you got to trust this process and keep doing your best and surrender to the divine stay positive with love peace and light this is your friend vijay signing off god bless